What up, YouTube? You already know who it is. In case you didn't, it's Alex from BestFitnessPants.com. And in honor of YouTube Geek Week, I'm wearing sporting my periodic Table of the Elements t-shirt today. Yeah, so that's cool. But uh, if there was a one geek factoid I'd give you, it's that any diet that requires you to not have carbs is just straight up retarded. Because you need carbs to replenish your ATP stores. ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's what gives you energy. Basically, it's, it's like the currency of energy. So if you're on a diet that says cut out all carbs, you're, you're basically just cutting off an essential, an essential component of what your body needs to create energy. Therefore, you are an idiot. Anyways, it's chest, shoulders, and triceps again today. Gonna be hitting, hitting that bench press harder than, than last time. It was just the German volume training where I did a, picked a low resistance and just hammered out 10 reps for 10 sets, short rest periods. This time I'm gonna be doing heavier for, for four, maybe four or five sets, and then go, go heavy again with the push-ups. This time I'm gonna try again to do the decline push-ups so I can hit that upper chest and for the most part I'm going to be doing the same the same stuff I did last time maybe do something different for triceps because there's a lot of possibilities you can do with triceps um, but uh, other than that hope you guys got your tickets to the gun show <laughs> I just realized I haven't shown you guys any of the exercises in real time. I've been fast forwarding it, so I was thinking that maybe that looks too easy. So I'm going to do this first set of bench press with 180, it's supposed to be 186 pounds equivalent resistance. And you'll see just how freaking strenuous it really is. <coughs> Motherfucker, go get stuck on me now. Come on. Not happening. Five and a half. Look at that shit. I recut open my scab here. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts so good. It hurts so good. Don't just stick with one rep range. Do mix it all up. Do even do high rep, even as high as 20 and up, even 50. Because if you do endurance, endurance conditioning, like high rep, high reps are endurance. But that that is good for building muscle. It's just not, it's not good built for building muscle on its own. But it, it's good. The endurance. Uh, opens up the capillaries in your muscles and that further allows nutrient delivery to your muscles, hormones and the, the, allows the blood to be more efficiently delivered to the muscle so that it can deliver nutrients and hormones and everything you need to build muscle. 
So the best thing to do, not just stick with 10 reps and everything, 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, do low reps, do five reps, try to max out. If you got a spotter, uh, mix it all up. That's the, be that's the best way to do it. I'm showing you that this, this is more effective than you, than you thought. You didn't think you could build muscle with this. I'm showing you that the motherfuck you can. All right, now since these decline push-ups are pretty hard all on their own, I'm gonna start with just the green band going around my back and holding on the ends with my hands on the floor. Then probably drop set down with the yellow band. All right, so here we go, four sets. All right, so scratch that. Green band was easier than I thought. Did 15 reps. I'm gonna try the red one. See how many I can do with that. Sometimes when you're about to settle for mediocrity, you then realize that you ain't no bitch and you go for greatness. Here we go. Decline push up with the 23 pound purple bands. That equal that doubles it for each arm. So it's like I'm doing push ups, decline push ups with 56 pounds on my back. Let's go for seven reps. Chest flies. All right, now the military presses are my staple lifts. The ones I just did, I do those every time. Now this, this time I'm doing something new. It's, it's similar to last time how I did the supersets like this, hitting the front, mid, and rear delts all at the same time. But this time, I'm doing it like this. In a circle. I'm gonna do it front, or, or clockwise, then counterclockwise. And then just do that to failure. And do that for four sets. Here we go.
Okay, so just in case the uh, circle things didn't hit the rear delts hard enough, I'm gonna do four sets of reverse flies. Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to be doing for triceps is a new one. You just take a band, fold it in half, and do it like so. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Here's a tricep exercise that Hannibal for King knows all too well. Motherfucking diamond push-ups. <clears throat> I forgot that I was still fatigued from that last set I just did for triceps. Or that last fucking little thing I did just there. Alright, diamond push ups. Here we go. Oh, my nut. My fucking nut. Okay. Ah, ah. Whew. Here we go. Ah. Mm. That's it. That's it. You see, the great thing about all push up variation exercises is that you're engaging your core. Okay, since I already hit the triceps from a pronated angle with the diamond push ups, a neutral grip angle with the stretchers, now I gotta do a supinated grip. So supinated grip kickbacks, that way I hit the I hit the tricep from all three muscles. <clears throat> I'm a soldier in the army of muscle. <laughs> 